So we're in the big pit today. This is just a little pile we finished off 20 acres the other day and parked it there. That might not even be that, um, but we couldn't fit it in the clamp behind. So now we're in here. First two loads are in. Doesn't look very pretty because he's so blooming wide. But after we get 10 or so loads in, we should have a little bit of a ramp. Start pushing it up properly then. There she is. 18 tons, no match for that thing. What a beast. What a beast. Right, I'm gonna carry on pushing up. Starting to get a little bit smarter. Drop over time on the clamp. Guys on there, I'm gonna jump on the Deutsch for a run. Ruben on his 70-50. This is the first time ever guy's done any butt raking. So, always takes a while to get used to things. Seems to have pushed that up fairly even. I'm gonna leave him to it, see what state it is when we get back. There's only five of us on, or six of us, so it shouldn't be too bad by the time I get back. Good stairway to heaven! Guy's been complaining that apparently this steering wheel is going to give him blisters by the end of the day. That's his report back. Oh, well, we might have some food I can nick as well. Here we are, in the field. See how we go then. First and last time, I should probably see this thing working in the field. That's a better angle. That pillar really gets in the way, doesn't it, Jess? Crops have all been a bit light this year, to say the least, I think. Thin stems, no moisture, not the usual six to eight foot. It's all with what we want. Header's doing a good job, though. 10 row header on this one. 8500 John Deere, the same John Deere we had on the grass, owned by the farmer or hired by the farmer. Apparently it's one row of trailer. Oh, we've got to go up a gear. Oh, we're doing 15k, hammering on. I thought the trailers were coming in a bit slow in the clamp, but everything seems to be here. We've got one waiting, one on its way, and one filling, so we're all there. Anyway, we're in plough ground. The suspension's been fairly well tested. 16 to 18k next to this thing. There's a little deer going out. Right, nice road deer. Doe by the looks of it. Or a young buck. He's got no prickets on mine. So far on the track, I think those things are a little bit raised. I can see what guy's point is, but seems all right. It seems comfortable enough. So for anyone that doesn't know, on maze, you keep the back wheel in line with the header and his movable spout should be able to fill the trailer right to the front like that. And because you haven't got a row of grass to follow, I just follow the wheel markings of the forager. So as, one as, one of, as long as one of my wheels is on the inside one, that's good enough. Good view of the Q's of our white horse there. So I have adjusted this button down here, the toggle for power, and the toggle under the armrest for um, acceleration because Guy was saying that it's a bit jerkish. And uh, are we almost full? Or is the header slightly not there? And it is a little bit when you're going forward and back, not forward and back rather, when you're going up the field. Forager slows down, then I slow down, then he speeds up, and then I want to speed up, and he can't quite kick on quite well. Well, that's us with a load. Spin around, let Johnny fill up. He's following up straight behind. He goes up the field. Our hoon on back. Nick's already waiting with his tractor and trailer over there. I'm not going to go too fast because I'm old. 20k across the field. Blooming fast enough when it's like this. But credit where credit's due, this suspension is riding it pretty well. 
I know if I was in my New Holland, um, even with the front weight on, she wouldn't be handling it that well. The deer would handle it a fair bit better, but I don't think it would handle it any better than this. Um, it would certainly be on a par. A front mate weight would make the world of difference, make it slightly more comfortable, hang on it, hang it on there a little bit, and a bit more weight. Just means it doesn't bounce as much as what you're seeing now. But this isn't, oh, jeekers, jeekers, that was a wet bit. This isn't the best of fields. Oh, it turns out the seat, seat folds up both ways. So you can either have it up like that to get in and out. Got a nice little table there. I've robbed quite a few of Guy's sweets. I'm going to have a few more, but I've got to leave a few in there. When he gets back in, he doesn't suspect it immediately. This is a way ticket. 13 ton of product on board and an 18 ton trailer. But what's interesting is the second weight. So he weighed four, which was 30 ton. But the second weight was just shy of 17 ton, which must mean this is a bloomin' heavy tractor because what does an 18 ton silage trailer weigh? Five, six ton? Even if you said it weighed six ton, that's 11 ton on the trailer. Or yeah, pretty much 11 ton on the trailer, on the tractor. That's a lot of weight. There we are then. John Deere's not on its side. That's always a bonus. It's a bit of a mess, but I can sort most of that out. Just flattening it off, really. Tip her up and swap. Yeah, it's all right. The only thing, weird thing is, indicators aren't self-cancelling, so they just stay on forever, if you forget, like I do. Other than that, nice tractor. Well, it's all up there, sort of. He said he got a bit confused with the top link. This is a bit of a bumpy mess. Should look like that. Oh, I will sort it out. Makes me look good, though, doesn't it? it does make me look good. Are you all key? Just rolling the clamp. Get that compaction going. <laughs> He's obviously come to inspect. Get out and have a chat. That's the end of day one. It's around 120 acres in that. So, a couple of foot of the back wall still showing. I think they're going to put a sheet up there tomorrow, and then I'll be able to push it right up. And we should be able to dome it as high as that one, which is about up there somewhere. So, just to finish off the Deutsch review, we really liked it. Very comfortable. Bags of horsepower. Cab layout, a bit hit and miss. Uh, visibility is good all around from the cab, other than the front links, you can't see them at all unless you really crank your neck. Um, would be a bit ridiculous with the loader on. The only thing we don't like is the cab size. Um, it's just a very, very small cab, it's a bit like the Vulture cab, it's, it sort of comes in at the front, whereas this tractor is square, almost sort of points out at the front, so your passenger's got more room. Yeah, this sort of swings and roundabouts, but we would be lying if we said we'd have chosen the Deutz over this last year. Um, these things are so refined inside, the cab's so big, it's just comfortable, it's a great layout. It's a hell of a tractor, this thing, hell of a tractor. We've had it seven, eight hundred hours now and wouldn't change it. Now I wouldn't change it for the world. In the summer I was a bit hit and miss, but after we just done maze, the thing just is a beast. It's an absolute animal on the pit.